Over the last few weeks, NBC's Chris Jansen joins me now. She's in Kissimmee, Florida, part of her Battleground America tour. So, Chris, look, it always, Tim Russert said it 16 years ago, Florida, Florida, Florida. Here we are again, Florida, dead even, 29 Florida. electoral votes. Set the scene for us down there. Turnout state, you just said it. When you're at 1% or you look at the amalgamation of recent polls, that's probably less than 1% between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. This is the kind of activity that matters. So this is a group called the Libre Initiative. These guys are going to be going to this door. And what they're trying to do is register folks. And this is a Puerto Rican neighborhood. A lot of folks here have been established, but they have relatives who have been coming in. Critical for Hillary Clinton, who's lagging behind Barack Obama, but this is a conservative organization. So let me ask David Velasquez, conservative group mm -hmm. in a Puerto Rican neighborhood, which we know favors the Democrats. What are the issues you think resonate with them? Sure, the issues that we find that resonates with them is government spending and government overregulation, because on the island of Puerto Rico, everything that's happened there financially. So we we know that those are the issues that are important to them: the economy, getting a job, being able to start a business. So those are the things that we're seeing resonate with. Puerto Rican voters. And let me just stop them for a minute because part of the influx that we're seeing, the largest influx in Florida of any minority population, is because of the bad financial situation there. It's bringing so many people in. But you guys are doing something that I find really interesting. Like tonight, it's not that you're just going out and registering, you're offering them classes. That's correct. You'll talk to them about these issues, right? Tell us a little bit about the stuff that goes on, and we don't want to lose these guys, so let's walk along with. Sure. So, um, so or their English classes, we um, we basically found out that um, or something that we already knew, <laughs> but that a lot of Puerto Ricans are coming here for more for more opportunity. And the way that you find opportunity is to learn how to speak English. Once you learn how to speak English, you've now unlocked um, the key that you can to get new jobs, get better jobs. Um, so you have um, you have more people get involved in the workforce, and that's what they want. So David, that's what you do. Thank you so much. On the other side, Hillary Clinton's folks, 300 voter registration activities today alone. Florida, 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 a turnout state, Steve. All right, every four years, the Sunshine State, Center Stage, Chris Jansen in Kissimmee, Florida. Thanks for that. That is going to do it for this hour. I'm Steve Kornacki, and MTP Daily starts right now.